everybody was so relaxed and everybody was so good to go. I mean, you you have guys like David Price. I'm walking into the clubhouse. Like Alex Cora. Like Cora. Like three guys Ayo. Ayo. Yeah. Ayo. Hey, this, this is my girl right here. Don't sneak up on me, man. Kill him two years in a row. <laughs> Hi. This is my baby girl. Oh. Alex Cora is here. Alex, your lovely daughter, name? Camila. 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 Yeah, Camila. Camila, you look pretty happy right about now. Yeah, I was crying. W were you? Oh. I was crying since Chris Sale came out. Hey, we were talking about how amazing your dad did this year. So, so why don't you tell us, what did you think of, of what dad did this year? Yeah. <laughs> he's, oh God, he's great. I love him so much. He's a great dad. Oh, I, I just can't say anything because I'm going to start crying again. I love, <laughs> I love it. Alex, I just talked to you up there and, 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 and you know you know what I think of you uh, from your days Thank playing you. when I covered you. So why don't go ahead, Alex. Start it off with Alex Cora. Yeah, I mean, Alex, obviously a magical season for you. We go back to your days pre-universe bridge between players and A.J. Hinge. I walked by you last year, and I said, you know, you're being rumored to be a manager somewhere in a lot of places. And he goes, when I get my chance, I'll be ready. And boy, were you ready. <laughs> How does this feel? Oh, man, uh, it's amazing, Alex. Uh, it, it looked easy, but it wasn't. Uh, when you go through the offseason and all the moves that we made, Mitch Moreland, Eduardo Nunez, J.D. Martinez, and you, you, you got to meet so many people. And you gotta put a plan in place, you get the coaches, and then you go to the spring training and they bought into it, the players. At the end, we're very talented. We got we got talent. You know, they're they're very good. And one thing about them guys, uh, they're hungry to, to keep learning the game and keep getting better. Even today, there were certain situations that we talk about it and they kept learning, learning, and learning. And it's all about them. Uh, ownership was amazing, obviously. We know that we have the highest payroll in baseball. Uh, Dave Dombrowski, he was amazing throughout the season, adding a few players. Nobody talked about Sid Pierce, and uh, we traded for him, Ian Kinsler, Nate Duvaldi. And then, you know, they, they put it together, and they did an amazing job. For me, very gratifying. Uh, it is, it's cool to see them celebrate, the families being involved, having my daughter here. The, the twins are somewhere over there. Angelica, my mom, everybody's over there. Joy Cora. That's all. Joy Cora is in Pittsburgh. I know he's watching. Joy, thank you for everything, man. You're the best. You're my mentor. You're my brother. You're my best friend. I'm proud of you. This for you. And uh, it, it, it was great. Listen, um, I remember um, before the Red Sox gave you the job, I received a phone call from the front office asking me about what do you think about Alex Cora? What type of person, what type of guy he is? And I was quiet for like about 30 seconds before I give that answer. In those 30 seconds... That's the first. <laughs> yeah! in, the, in those 30 seconds, I, I went back to when we were teammates, how you used to pull me and Manny and give us information about what was going on during the game. Well, kind of like Frank and Alex, they lived it. Through Julius. Yes. yes. You know, like, yes. and Julius was, I mean, he pushed you hard. One of the smartest baseball men yeah. I've been around. He told me you were going to be just like it, or even better. He's right. I'm telling you right now. I still feel he. You're a baseball, great he, baseball man. If, if he gets a job, he'll, he'll, be, he'll be fine. Yes, yes. yes. He needs a job. My bad. I'm just throwing it out there. Great <laughs> baseball guy. And reality was that, Alex, I heard so many. You know, I talked to all the players in the clubhouse. <laughs> And you know they give you me a lot of feedback. You do, Bobby, I never knew that. I, I do. I keep it down the low. Deep info. They, everything, all the feedback that you get from the players is like, they got your back because you got there. They did last night, boy. <laughs> when when, when Puig hit the homer, I was like, oh, boy. What I just did. And then Mitch hits a home run. I say, hey, you guys pick me up. Right. Let's keep going. Keep picking me up. So, but it's okay to manage from your gut sometimes. And and it's okay to you. admit you make errors, too. Exactly. It's okay. You're human. Nobody's perfect. Yeah. But you know what, though? The feedback from them is like, I love playing for that. Now, I want to know how you guys build up that relationship in less than a year. <laughs> uh, how that can possibly happen? So the first, I played for a guy for tons of years, and I never built a relationship with them. How, so how that happened? The first meeting I had with players, uh, I flew to Fort Myers in December, and I met with uh, David, Chris, Sandy, and Jackie. And that was the beginning. And it was like the perfect ending today that David was a 
on the mound to start off the game, and Chris was on the mound to finish the game. I mean, that's how we started, you know, flying everywhere, talking to players. I even went to the Dominican Republic in December 26th. She was upset, you know, Christmas, and you went to Dominican to talk to uh, Rafi Devers. And Carlos Febles, our third base coach, he told me, he's like, you know how important you are? That is the day after Christmas, and he's still here talking to you. And that's what you have to do. One quick question. I want to have some fun here. Back to back world championship, Houston, Boston. Well, there's only the two. The bar is high. <laughs> yeah. What's next? Keep getting better. Enjoy this. Out in Boston. Enjoy it over there. And like I said on stage, we're taking that trophy to Caguas, Puerto Rico. We are. We are. So happy for you, Alex. So well deserved, man. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you very, very much. So happy for you. Alex Cora, only the fifth first year manager to win a World Series. You're the best. Camila, enjoy it. Camila, enjoy it, Camila. Yes. Camila, baby. Xander Bogart, see you, Camila. Camila.